someone has left a threatening message on your terminal, Captain. I was unable to trace its origin. Please make a note of it. Welcome back, Captain. How can I... I request... Whole head walking around like they run the place. Hey, you over here, it's chat. Whoa, 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 it's Riz. Oh, fuck it, damn it. Every time. So, uh, hey, you trespass, and I'm armed. Maybe take a second look at your life choices, pal. Yeah, I know that lady. I know she's looking for, uh, solitude. She hired us to make sure no one comes sniffing around. Guess that's bad news for your plan there. What, after five years? Pretty sure she's serious about a little stint in solitary. Anyway, Blakesley's given us standing orders to strongly discourage anyone who tries to come in. I like to, uh, extrapolate from there. We ain't subversives. We're gainfully employed. This is a private contract. Miss Junlei can't get too mad if we rough up some trespassers. Especially if I was nice enough to warn him first. This deal with Blakesley is pretty sweet. We get paid, and we get fresh greens every week. My gums never looked healthier. <laughs> what? Ah, shit. Insurance, you said? Fine, I guess. I see what you did there, and I'm impressed. Look, we won't give you trouble. But I can't say the same about Blakesley. She's got some crazy setup in there, so if you get shot, don't come complaining to me. This one's clear, guys. Smooth, Captain. Some days, it's like I don't know what to do with myself. Come, this must be a step up from forced factories, huh?
Whatever that is, it's loud. They can't keep us out. What can I do for you in this home invasion? Cute. There have to be easier ways to steal some corporate property. Go chat up Sublight. Gorgon? I holed up in a forgotten cargo bay of a rotting colony ship just so I could never hear that name again. But here you are. That bastard. Is he still only mostly worthless, or has he achieved mathematical perfection in that regard? He'll be on to the next hobby in a week. Clearance lacks the attention span for this sort of thing. Someone wants to dig up the past, and you're the shovel, right? Ha! Huh. All soft clay here, pal. You want to know about HIA? I'll tell you. Corporate demanded a product they could throw onto shelves. That put the squeeze on low at CAM to develop formulas. Samples. But how do you know if the product works? You run tests, see what happens. That's where human inquiry and auditing came in. I ran HIA and HIA ran the tests again and again and again. And what happens is a whole lot of wasted time and even more bodies. You met the gardeners. They're nothing but overgrown canids, but people love their fancy names. We were looking for a game changer, something to better the colony. It felt important, worth a few sacrifices. Spacer's choice. They wanted to sell that change for as many bits as they could. None of us got what we wanted. We had a few weird accidents, escapes, minor setbacks. But one day, all the test subjects got loose. Sabotage, they said. It wasn't just us. All of the facilities got hit hard. Shut us down for a while. That turned out to be the last straw. Spacer's choice wasn't getting much use out of us anymore, so they shuttered the project, kicked Adrena time out the door. And I came here. I could have gone back to Byzantium, found a position somewhere else, even started up something new, like mostly. But I just... I couldn't stop thinking about... Indulge a scientist. What do you want out of this investigation of yours? Trying to liven up your memoir? Gets him every time. How about you, kid? You've got Orphan written all over that baby face of yours. What do you get out of headbutting murderous auto mechanicals for your captain here? First of all, I don't headbutt. I dropkick. As for what I get out of it, I don't know. It's fun. Hope it stays that way, kid. That's all I've got. Here. I still have this pass. Don't much feel like hanging on to it anymore. Made my exit the moment the project started falling apart. Had to steal some credentials. This should get you into the volunteer induction entrance. Come on, I've left it behind me. You wouldn't. Damn it. Fine. Fine, here, I remember one of my access codes. Just punch in the keypad equivalent for replication. Should get you into the offices. Maybe get you to my terminal a little sooner. Careful on Gorgon. The compound got into the air, the water, everything. 
That asteroid makes monsters. Just drowning in dining options down here. Captain, an unknown vessel is approaching our ship. Their intentions are currently indeterminate. Once I deduce their intentions, I will play one of two audio signals. A cheerful fanfare if they are friendly, alarms if they are hostile. Their intentions are no longer unknown. At precisely this moment, Captain? No. Within the next 60 to 90 seconds? Yes. The unknown vessel has deployed a boarding mechanism. They will attach themselves to our airlock and attempt boarding shortly. That sound indicates that a boarding mechanism has successfully attached to our airlock. Captain, I am pleased to inform you that we are currently in the process of being boarded. I have been programmed to simulate joy and excitement at the opportunity to test my limited defensive capabilities. Captain Hawthorne installed a lethal shock trap on our airlock in the event of an invasion. I am prepared to deploy this trap at a moment's notice. I understand. Allow me to rectify my oversight. Captain, please be informed that our airlock has a death trap installed. The invading ship appears to be a decommissioned storage vessel. The crew are either pirates or freelancers. My opinion of their competence is low. That is unlikely. Judging by the state of the invading ship and the competence of the boarding party, I deduce they are incapable of paying for dinner. Their ship is using a tracking device too sophisticated for their primitive astrogator. I conclude they are receiving outside assistance. If you prefer to make an escape, I can disable their boarding mechanism. However, as long as that tracking device remains on board their ship, they will be able to find us again. Yes, Captain. I am capable of deploying the Unreliable's articulated thrusters to dislodge their ship from our own. This is a temporary solution, however. A permanent solution may require your personal intervention. Understood, Captain. I will be deploying the Unreliable's lethal deterrence system. Please approach the airlock and enjoy the show. Now initiated more welcome protocol. Ada really could kill us all. I thought we were safe in the Aether. Oh, well, I'm gonna have nightmares about this for weeks. I must say that there's been nary a dull moment since signing on with his crew. I thought we were safe in the Aether. Oh, well, I'm gonna have nightmares about this for weeks. I've been on the other side of a boarding dock enough to recognize amateurs. Assholes interrupted my beauty sleep. Invading foreign threats detected. Deploying lethal measures. Targets, bacteria, viruses, and human scum. Got my head in the game, boss. Maybe we can talk when we're done here?
and disrespectful. My freebooters could learn a thing or two from you. I'll admit, this attack hasn't gone strictly according to plan. But as we like to say in the League, no strategy survives contact with the opponent. Let's call this round a draw. You head back to your end of the field, I'll regroup my team, and we'll see where things take us in the second half. What do you say? Like you wouldn't believe. First the macro wave broke down, then our astrogator went on the fritz. Turns out the unreliable is not an easy ship to track. I got a couple of contingency plans lined up. I just need some time to regroup. So what do you say? Wanna try this again? That's about the answer I expected. Well, can't blame a coach for trying. Here's the problem. I can't let you live. But as long as you're on my ship, you've got the advantage over us. So, we're at an impasse. Yeah? And how exactly are you gonna do that? Alright, alright, easy there, psychopath. Why don't we talk this over? Coach to coach. Come speak to me in my office. Up through the cargo hold. I called you ready to see you. Head upstairs. Hey, I suck. What do? All right. Hawthorne. I'm ready. All right, easy now. Let's just keep our weapons holstered like civilized people. I'll drop the toss ball act and we can have ourselves a conversation like reasonable people. Long as you promise not to bloody up my floor. Deal? You know I can't just back out of a job. I've got a reputation to think about. You're a recruiter? Good law, why didn't you lead with that? If you're willing to recommend me to Groundbreaker, I'm willing to forget I ever had a contract on you. What do you say? Right, of course. Finder's fee. League regulations and all. Let me just see what I got in my pockets. I appreciate you putting in a good word for me. You don't know how long I've been wanting to play professional tossball again. I'll keep my ship clear of yours. 
you and I will never cross orbits again. I got no reason to come after you. Use my credentials to get inside the cockpit and take our tracking device. Our astrogation terminal was tracking your ship. Don't ask me how. Never had much luck with computing devices myself. The truth. We never caught up to the unreliable. You vanished somewhere into the void. Astrogator never picked up your location again. Oh, Welcome back, Captain. I understand you have resolved your differences with our former boarding party. Are you ready to depart? Understood, Captain. Resuming our course. Let me just catch my breath, I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire, because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Huh. 
projects on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, Anticleo reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like, day in and day out. I ask myself that question a lot, and then I realize I'm talking to myself. Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Anticleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia, and it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. After a while, you start imagining things, unhealthy things, like what might happen if you triggered pink slip protocol. I did try once or twice, but wasn't ever successful. Now I'm glad. But enough about me. I never did ask why you were here. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the Automex too. Like what? Pink slip protocol. How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Yep, Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Anticleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to Anticleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area though, so I don't know more than that. Just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen, after what happened, I don't want that anymore. I want to live. Do I ever? Drop me off on the Groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. Think it's supposed to shake like that? Hey, you got it open. Talking, concentrating. Damn it! I almost had it. The formula was in my mind, and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Sky high, 
my magnum opus of psychostimulants. I feel like I've already explained this to the last hallucination. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? All sorts of things. Science, mainly. A little bit of research. If you're talking about all the dead bodies, that'd be the pink slip protocol. Right, that answers that. Next question. Something tells me he's not looking for caffeinoid, Captain. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. New friends mean new birthdays to keep track of. And I can't spare much room in my mind palace for frivolous trinkets of information. But in this case, I'll make an exception. You mean my inhaler? It's designed to deliver a highly concentrated dose of Sky High right through my respiratory system. The formula is still a work in progress. Clears my mind for a few precious moments. The rowdy tenants of my mind palace stop their chattering, and in that silence, I experience clarity. Inspiration through inhalation. That's Sky High. Or it will be, once I perfect my formula. Doctor's orders. Come on, boss. The guy's already hurting. Maybe we shouldn't be pushing him like this? Who's he, what's he now? Take an inhale? Yes, yes. An excellent suggestion. Oh, much better. My mind is clear. So are my sinuses, in fact. Auntie Cleo instituted the pink slip protocol. Fancy marketing term that translates to, we're not satisfied with the quality of your work, so we're revoking your lifetime contracts. Can you believe Auntie terminated my entire team? It's a terrible setback. For my team, I mean, not for me. Not this time. I'll continue the work on my own if need be. Ah, right. How do I put this? This is not the first time I've lost a research team to corporate mismanagement. It's the second. Auntie had been threatening to instigate Pink Slip Protocol for months, though I honestly didn't think they'd have the stones to do it. I was on the verge of giving Auntie the results she wanted. Well, almost on the verge. Approaching the verge. The point is, I didn't think this would happen. Bureaucratic procrastination and some incompetent saber-rattling. Before I was traded, I worked on Project Gorgon. I lost that team by attrition. Management turned the screw on my team. Forced me to fire one in ten researchers. The few of us that remained were overworked and exhausted. We didn't have much of a security detail. I don't know how the primals got loose, but my team didn't stand a chance. You've done your research. Yes. The unfortunately named Mr. Goodfellow decided his ego was more important than our research. We were designing a drug the likes of which Halcyon had never seen. A veritable panacea that cured lethargy and guaranteed a lifetime of productivity. I was overwhelmed, overworked, frustrated. Forced to submit unfinished samples, failing to meet impossible deadlines. I started self-medicating, to enable my genius to perform at a greater capacity. To forget, to endure, to feel nothing. Project Gorgon was in its final days when the Primals attacked our lab. It wasn't long until Spacer's Choice authorized my transfer to this facility. Human Inquiry was supposed to be responsible for testing Adrena time. Under normal circumstances, the chem lab wouldn't have had to perform live tests. But creative incubation pressured my team with impossible deadlines. The prototypes we delivered to Dr. Blakesley at Human Inquiry were poor, because we were rushed. I had to begin experimenting on my own. 
I had to perform my own tests, so I used primals. They're not the best choice for test subjects, but I was working for Spacer's Choice. Whoever reached greatness by coloring within the lines. And besides, my lines often move around on the page. My point is, I was doing my job. I was doing science. I will continue to do so until my mind or my body expires. Not at all. Such an event is incredibly rare. Few workers understand the truth of their value to society. Me? I'm worth five measly lab coats. She would. No doubt she'd stuff my brain in a jar if she could. Do you know what she quoted to me one time from some rubbish earth book? Looked me right in the eyes and said, You are a brain, Jasper. The rest of you is a mere appendix. Yes, well, whatever isn't. The key to forgetting, I suppose. Auntie Cleo wants us to develop Anthracillin Plus, a new and improved version of the original Anthracillin formula. And what Auntie wants, Auntie gets. Eventually. I was making considerable progress. I can't possibly fathom why they prematurely terminated the project. I'm not lying. I'm carefully curating the truth for you. All right, listen. Auntie needs to be patient. I'll eventually get around to developing Anthracillin Plus. My priority right now is sky high. Once I perfect my formula, I'll be able to keep my mind functioning at peak performance without any pesky distractions. Like, feelings. No, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Well, it wasn't me. I've been stuck in this place for ages. In any case, it's becoming obvious you're not listening to sensible warnings. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. The electromechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. Not that it's any of your business, but I don't get to quit. My colleagues are dead, and yet I live. So I don't get to quit. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. Of course you do. Well... You gotta teach me that.
Whoa. That one was close, Captain. every day, Captain. Facilities back on the grid and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. Right, yes, of course. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. I'm obviously not coming with you, so I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of saltuna. Wait, take my gun while you're at it. 
If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Die, perhaps? Auto-mechanical sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. I don't like the idea of going back to that place. To that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. I suppose you've got a point. Or something resembling a point. I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Here, my personal security keycard. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this keycard to unlock the hallway and disable security. Did you snoop through my things? And just admit it to me. You do have gall, I'll give you that. Look, I keep a draft on my terminal where I vent my occasional frustrations with upper management. It's honestly one of my less detrimental coping methods. As I am not stupid enough to fill out the name in the address field. Even if I want... Making sense of those memories requires... All right. Just one inhale. Easy does it, Jasper. Have you ever seen a lake as still and clear as a mirror? That's how my mind feels right now. The disaster at the chem lab was my fault. I tested Adrena time on primals. I decimated my own research team. And I was a coward. I locked myself up in isolation. I told myself that I needed silence and solitude to perfect my formula for Sky High. But the truth is that I was ashamed. I must be harsh with myself. This is my way of taking responsibility. Do you know there's a shortage of responsibility in this colony? Want to talk about victims? The victims of Adrena time numbered in the thousands. People like you and I, transformed into violent murderers. And not a soul in Byzantium takes responsibility. I'm starting to lose sight of my own thoughts. Entropy reasserts itself in the palace of my mind. The high never lasts more than a few moments. Never mind, indeed. Did you need something else? 